And off the top at 530, temperatures are in the 90s, feel like temperatures even hotter than that. Can you believe that there are some areas where it feels even warmer? Woo. They are called heat islands. Good evening. I'm Jim Barry. And I'm Naja Sherman. Thank you for joining us. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones is live in Miramar with what it is and just how hot it can get. Chelsea. So guys, heat islands are areas with high amounts of concrete or asphalt and limited amount of green spaces. And in those heat islands, it can feel several degrees warmer. Brennigan Hart is a project geologist collecting water samples, and he's got it down to a science on how to keep cool. We try to give ourselves as much shade as possible, especially when the site doesn't have any. Uh, we pack ourselves a cooler with ice and waters. In Broward County, there are roughly 90,000 people that live in what's called a heat island. The county's resiliency team has pinpointed nine areas of high risk. Drone 4 is showing you one of them, Hollywood. Other areas include Lauder Hill, Wilton Manors, Fort Lauderdale, and Pompano Beach, to name a few. At HCA Mercy Hospital, they're already seeing people come into the ER with heat-related illnesses. Some tell us that they're uh, having, you know, the heat has affected them, and some they just come in saying they're feeling weak and dizzy. The temperatures can be at least five degrees hotter than the max temp in a heat island because heat islands are comprised of a lot of asphalt. We're here in Brickell. It is after one o'clock, so we're officially in the heat of the day. If we take our infrared thermometer, point it to the pavement, it registered at 117 degrees. If we take the same thermometer to the roadways and re-trigger it, it's registering at 128 degrees. And the temperatures here in Hollandale Beach are sitting at 144 degrees. And analysis done by the county shows that there are tens of thousands of residents that are dealing with these urban heat islands. In Coconut Grove, we caught up with a construction worker who says he works long hours in the sun, so he takes precautions. We like the long sleeves just to keep the heat off of us. I mean, it helps. And Dr. Sack says to keep cool, you can use ice packs or you can put water on your head or your clothes. But most importantly, he says, keep hydrated and stay out of the sun if you can. And if you're like me, get a fan. Reporting live right now from Miramar, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.